Okay, welcome back. Let's get back into this love at first sight visual novel. I am Mr. Sean. Welcome to my channel. We left off at the part where we uh, talked to Sachi for a quick little lunch break. Then we went back and talked to our friends who had a little bit more backstory as to who she was and how she's. There's some rumors that she is a uh, possibly being bullied physically, even. So let's get into it and see what else happens down on the storyline. The next day lunch. I'm trying. I'm going to try to find Sachi again today, but first, all right, I need some help. Let's make it quick. We're holding a war council as we're finishing, as we're finishing our, our lunches. Quick it is. What do you think is the best way to become friends with her? What makes you think I know? Okay. No, not just her. I mean, in general, how do you make friends? Good question. Didn't you, didn't you have any friends at your old school? Well, yeah, but then you should know, shouldn't you? Oh, well, it's not like that. I had to try to make friends. I just became friends with some people without even realizing it. I guess that's why I need advice. That's kind of what happens to everyone. True. Okay, my turn now. The Kami, who had been silent to now, suddenly shouts, startling me. Honestly, I don't think she'll have any useful advice on the subject, but I want to eat my lunch, so I stay quiet and let her talk. Maku, this answer is simple. You just have to remember when you first met us. It's a little depressing if our first meeting is the only frame of reference she has. When I met you? Yeah, because we became friends pretty easily. Of course, it's not like you could resist my fantastic charm, but still. No, at the time I was thinking, these guys are weird. I only got to know you out of morbid curiosity. <laughs> wow. What? That's mean. The fact that you're able to get along with us nerds means you're all so weird, doesn't it? it usually it means that too. I'm not denying that. Well, that's good for him. No, deny it! <laughs> well, poor Kenny. She wants to. She wants to deny it so much. I don't know what you're so worried about. You're more sociable than me, and not as loud as with Kenny. Why are you guys always getting up on me? Anyway, the point is that you don't want to scare her away, right? Yeah, pretty much. You're ignoring me again. And you were going to find her today, right? Yeah, I'm planning to, but I want to eat my lunch here. Last time I met her, having food with me just got in the way. Besides, I don't want to spend the entire lunch break with her and leave you swinging. Are you sure you can stand being away from us? Sometimes I think this guy can read minds. He really doesn't look it, but he does care about other people. I think I'll manage. I'm more worried about leaving you alone with the Kenny. Jeez, man, what, what is up with these guys? Man, she's a cute little. I can't believe she's a cute little girl. I don't know why I'm getting such a hard time. Don't remind me. I do like having someone else around who can keep this fool in check. <laughs> why you just call me? I wonder if I should even go. You sure you can keep her in check on your own? I'm not here. Then again, Sachi would be just finishing up her lunch soon. I've been finishing up my own lunch in a hurry, as we were talking as well. Since Sachi eating alone, she probably wouldn't take long to finish her food. Sachi! Is that the one-eyed girl? Can't think of it. I don't remember her whole name. Alright. Ah, right. Usui Sachi. Sachi, huh? Well, she'll be Sachin, then. When you finally introduce her to me, I'll call her Sachin. That reminds me when I first saw Kemi. She merely gave me the nickname Makun. And she didn't seem to care that I had only known her for about a minute. Not that I dislike her, but the speed at which she gets close to people is a bit unsettling to say the least. You're designing a nickname for her before you meet her? Well, I'm not the ones who's going to meet her. Well, I'm not the one who's going to go meet her, Makun. Hurry up and introduce her to us so we don't have to worry about befriending her on my own. Yeah, yeah, I'll get it. In that case, I better hurry so Kimmy doesn't have to think too hard and risk shorting out her brain. Shorting. My brain is going to short out. Hey, wait a minute. Good luck. Thanks. I got to the whining of Kimmy, packing my lunch box, and leaving the classroom. Of course, there's no guarantee I can actually find her. 
Sachi is probably just finishing her lunch by now, and I'm sure she'll go somewhere else when she does. There's also the possibility she may choose to eat somewhere else in the order to avoid me. I guess I won't know until I go, though. Alright, she's here after all, so same place, same frightening look. Hey, how's it going? Uh, hello? Is she on guard again this time? She seems calmer than she did yesterday. Looks like she finished her lunch. Her lunch box is closed. Now what do I do? I suppose I should think of something to say first of all. I think you should have thought that before you got there, but you know. Um, I'm not trying to scare you or anything. I just want to be friends, you know. F friends? Her dotting eye tells me that I still don't have her trust yet. The only thing I can tell her for sure the only thing I can tell for sure is that she's suspicious of me. Yeah. Do you not want me here? You, you don't have to leave, but... In that case, can I talk with you for the rest of the lunch break? Oh, okay. Great, she hasn't rejected me yet. Alright, thanks. I sit down on the stairs next to her, same as yesterday. What were we talking about yesterday? Alright, something about books. Hmm... Yeah, books. You like reading books, right? Do you read manga and stuff? I I like reading novels mostly. Just novels. I see. So you don't like manga then? No, I I like them. It's just uh, I don't have any money for manga novels either. I borrow books from the library. The school's library. I I mean, they don't have any manga. Ah, so that's it. If you want, I can lend you some of my manga. I have a few novels too, but not just manga, but I figured that she'd be more interested in what she hasn't gotten as much of a chance as much of a chance to read. Uh, mm, uh are, are you sure? Yep, what genres do you like? I mean I don't have a ton, but my collection's not too small either. I can lend you some of my favorites. It, is it really okay? You you should go out of your way from me. I said it's fine, it's not a big deal. I'm just happy we have something in common. Ah, she got a smile going. Uh, I see. Thank you very much. If you have, if you want, if you have some you want to read, let me know. So, which genres do you like? Uh, any genre is fine. Besides, scary stories or painful ones. Horror is no good then. You don't have any favorite genres? Um, sorry. <laughs> There's no reason to apologize. Alright. The book you were reading yesterday, what was it? Can you let me see it? Oh, this? She points at the book she laid aside next to her. It's a science fiction book. Sci-fi? You don't look like you'd be interested in that sort of thing. I read those too, actually. I really don't care about it. Um, genre. If it's interesting, I'll read it. Anything that's interesting is good, right? Hmm, this looks like a good book. Anyway, I'd like to try some... I'll... I'll... Anyway, I'll try to choose some I think you like. Why don't I bring some of the ones I usually recommend to people? Oh, okay. I'd really appreciate that. Yeah, no problem. By the way, how is this book? I've heard of it before, but I never actually read it. Um... It's okay, I guess. There's a lot of tension between us now than there was yesterday. There's there's a lot less tension between us now than there was yesterday. Her voice is still shaking and afraid. It looks like she's becoming a lot more comfortable with me. She would never be used to talking with other people, but it doesn't seem like she's opposed to a good conversation. Then the bell interrupts us. Time to go already, huh? At least I'll be able to talk to her more. That's something to be happy about. Oops, we should be going. We're right. If you set up and start hanging down the stairs, come back tomorrow. Okay? I'll bring the manga I promised. Oh, okay. Um, Momoro Senpai? Yeah. I step on the steps and turn back towards Sachi. Her voice is so quiet that it's hard to hear over the sound of other footsteps. I'm really sorry. Lee, I don't mind reading, living out one or two books. It, it's not that, um, Come here to talk to me. Or what is she getting at exactly? Usually, when people offer to do things for you, you say thanks, not sorry. Not that, not that you have to bow to me. 
Not that you have to bow or anything like that. Actually, I should be thanking you for talking to me. Sorry. There you, there you go again. And she's smiling a little bit more. Uh, sorry, I mean, thanks. Um, thank you. Yep, glad to help. We're descending the stairs as we talk, and before I know it, we're at the second floor where, where my classroom is. She's got one floor to go since so she's a first year student. Alright, this is my stuff. See you tomorrow. Sure. Tomorrow then. We go our separate ways. Sachi goes to the first floor while I return to my classroom on this floor. Well, I did it. I only just met her, but surprisingly, we actually made a promise to meet up again. It's only been a day, but I feel like we've gotten much closer. While I'm in my afternoon classes, I think about what kind of manga I should lend her and try to remember what's on the bookshelf. Then the next day, morning, I enter my classroom and notice that Akemi and Tomo are already there. They both seem very confused as they look at me to the paper bag I'm holding. Well, Maki, what's that? Are you opening a store? I hope you're going to bring a lot. I mean, I don't imagine bringing a few books and say, hey, give these two or three volumes a try, see if it's something you like. I hope he's not taking it. We're going to bring a library. I was talking with Sachi a bit yesterday. I told her I'd lend her some of my manga. I think you brought a few too many. Don't sound surprised than anything. Yeah, I think you're right. The medium sized paper bag I probably want seems to be sagging under the weight of the manga inside. Yeah, that'd be a lot. Didn't you notice how heavy it was when you tried to lift it? I guess I did somehow. In such an Amazon or something? She's gonna have a hard time carrying that bag home otherwise, you know. I was starting to worry about that myself. I don't think it'll be possible for her. I don't think it's. A, I don't think it'll be possible for her. But it probably will be hard. Don't you think it'd be better to give the books to her a few at a time? I guess so. I'll let her borrow them eventually. I suppose aside from that, though, I got a more urgent. There's something I got there. Whoa, man, my tongue. I've got something more urgent I need to take care of right now. I quickly turn to a Kimmy and bow my head. Huh? What's up? Please let me see your homework. <laughs> you didn't do it? This is the second time today I've heard total sound of surprise. That's a new record, I think. No, yesterday I was looking through my bookshelf trying to find books I could lend to Sachi. I was looking through each book to determine whether or not it would be good for her. And, well, that's all I ended up doing last night. You're saying you spent the whole day reading manga instead of doing your homework. Great excuse. I suppose that's it in a nutshell. Yeah, so Akemi, help me out. Incidentally, there's a reason I'm asking Akemi. Despite the fact that she's kind of an airhead personality, she's actually a really good student. I wouldn't say she's smart exactly, but she does seem like the studious type. That's not to say that Tomori. Tomoyori's grades are bad or anything, but it's easier to ask it. a Kemi than him. Hmm, well, I guess I have to. I'll think of it as an investment into my future rendezvous with Sachan. Wait, wait, wait. Don't put weird obligations on me. No, no, I'm just setting the table so I can meet her sooner. Setting the table? We're not going out to eat. So you don't want to see my homework then? I will concentrate fully on the work at hand, so please let me see it. Oh, very nice. Okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, here we go up the stairs. Lunchtime. Before I can think about which books I'm going to lend her, I have to haul all the longer bottoms to throw it to the roof first. Why'd you bring all of them? Just, 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 just with you, guy. Hey, what's up? Uh, hello, I'm Mamoru Senpai. What's that? Her gaze, uh, her gaze shifts onto my paper bag. Does it really stand out that much? I picked out some of my manga for you to read, but I guess we brought a few too many. There, there are a lot. Do you walk to school? Yeah. I thought you might. I brought two or three different series, so go ahead and pick out what you want to read. You can take a few at a time. I don't want to overload you. So sorry. Nah, I'm the one who should be apologizing. Anyway, check this out. Okay. The back prickles as I dig my hand to it and pile up a tower of manga onto the steps. Sachi cautiously extends a hand towards the tower, but she looks like she's about to commit some grave sin. I guess she's never borrowed manga from anyone before, but she looks scared for some reason. 
She starts to sort them, sort through them, and as she's reading the summaries and flipping through the pages of the book, her expression loosens up a little by little. This one looks really interesting. Oh, I saw a bunch of copies of this one lined up at this bookstore a little while ago. This one, if I remember right, they say they're going to make it into a movie. So, did you buy one you like? Yes, they all look interesting. I, I can decide. Um, this one, and this one, wait, no, this one. Mm. Away patiently, Lee, as such, she begins to fidget restlessly and turn her head to me for guidance. There's no hurry, pick whichever one you want. The bell turns out my sentence. More time has passed than I realized. Sorry, okay. I'll take this one and this one. Hey, are you doing anything after school or are you going out right at home? I am. Um, I'm going right home. I can help you carry them to your house after class. Wait for me at the school gates. Huh? I hastily pack up the manga back in the paper bag. Before she can say anything, I'm heading downstairs with the bag in my arms. Just before I turn the corner, I catch a glimpse of Sachi and say, See you after school. Well, wait, senpai. Having more or less forced the software, I leave the shaking Sachi and return to my classroom. Yeah. <clears throat> after school, leaving the classroom, going up to the gates, and I leave the school carrying a built. I leave the school building carrying the heavy paper bag. I have no idea how far Sachi's house is from the school, but it wouldn't be right to make her carry all those home. Come to think of it, I don't even know where her house is. I don't know what I'm going to do if it's far in the opposite direction of my own house. Nope, I agree to do this, so even if it is in the opposite direction, I'll go all the way. I really didn't think this through, did I? No. Now that I think of it, it's like I'm tricking her into showing me where her home is. Yeah, that... It's kind of creepy if someone you've only known for a few days tries to find out where you live. What if she does? What if she thinks I'm creepy? As I'm thinking about this, I leave the gates to survey the area. Where's Sachi? I suddenly worry that she's silently left without me. I guess I was too pushy. I didn't even wait for her to agree to let me walk her home. If she decided to walk, if she decided to go home on her own, it wouldn't be out of the place, and I had no right to complain anyway. And if that's the case, wouldn't she have come to a classroom to give me back my manga first? Um, Senpai. Hmm? No sooner do I hear her voice than I realize she's standing next to me, looking up. Where the hell did she come from? She truly snuck up on me. Sh shall we go? I look over and confirm that it, that it is, in fact, her next to me. Yeah, one big eyeball across the face. It's probably her. Then watch as she quickly leaves the campus, staring at the ground with an uneasy expression. It seems like she wants to avoid being seen. I continue after her, hauling the heavy paper bag along. At 10 meters on, we turn a narrow side road, and she slows down to a more normal pace before turning. Look at me. Um, she, she seems to have forgotten what she was about to say. Sorry for forcing you to do this. You must think I'm a jerk. No, no, you're not a jerk. I wouldn't go that far. Um, I think I should go home alone. I, I don't want I don't want to cause you any trouble. Huh? I seem to think about it for a bit before pressing the manga filled bag at Sachi. She hurriedly throws out her arms to try to take it, but... Eep! As I take my hands off the bag, Sachi falls forward under its weight. The bundle of books lands with a deep thump as it hits the ground. Yeah, she just used that on Amazon after all. See? That's too heavy for you, isn't it? That's what I'm carrying for you. If you do hate me, though, you should say so. Pick up the bag of manga again. But isn't it going to be a pain for you? Nope, if it was a pain, I'd tell you. Don't worry about it, Sachi. I'm like, I don't want to be a pain here. If you think about it, isn't following someone I barely know to her house kind of rude? No, no, I don't mind if it's you following me to my house. Really? Well, I'm glad to then. So, which way is your house? Th this way. Alright, let's get going. Okay. The two of us start walking at a steady pace side by side. Sachi takes short steps, but since I'm weighed down by the heavy books, I match her speed perfectly. Mm. What's up? Which way is your house? If it's in the opposite direction, I mean, if that's the case, I can carry the mug on my own. Interesting. Sachi started to think talking to me on her own. That makes me strangely happy, even if I, it's only a minor thing. Remember, senpai? 
No worries. This isn't the street I usually take, but my house is in this direction. What street do you turn on? I don't turn. I mean, the street changes, but basically I head in the, this direction the whole way. I see. That's good. My house is pretty much straight ahead, so we're probably right in the same neighborhood. Does it take long for you to get to school? I think I'm pretty close. It doesn't take too long or anything. Is that so? Cool, cool. Isn't that heavy? Uh, I think I helped you carry it. I'm telling you, it's fine. I did drag this all the way to school from my, from my house this morning, you know. Oh, okay. Sorry. Come on, I'm the one who invited myself to come along with you. So there's no nothing you need to apologize for. You're not doing anything wrong. Um, well, okay. Thank you. No problem. Anyway, tomorrow's the weekend, isn't it? Don't worry about rushing through all the books just to get them back to me. You have plenty of time after all. Yeah, I guess so. Thank you. This is some really beautiful colors on this. Rich on this left side. These leaves and everything. It's, it's just beautiful imagery. It goes well with all the other things that's going on here. Although it's a little blank slate of a building, but I mean, it's a beautiful artwork. <clears throat> the two of us laps in silence for a little while as we continue on. On the way, I know something. Even though we're generally headed in the same direction when we we were when we started Sachi keeps changing streets I think it's because she's avoiding streets with a lot of people on her on top of that whenever we get to the end of the street she bows her head as she walks looking down at the ground hey is your house on the other side of the shopping mall I want her to stop looking down so I try to strike up some conversation no no we're not going that far it's just a little farther from here we should be able to see it soon I see you my house is a little way, a little ways behind us. It's a different street, but we are really, but we really are in the same neighborhood. Oh, oh really? Oh, that's my house over there. She points at a house a little ways ahead of us. Oh, this is your place, huh? We arrived at a solitary, small, nondescript house. Said, Thank you very much. I can take them up to my room from here. Okay, sure. Gently hand her the manga, but not being sure not to drop it into her arms this time. Then, the metal clack, the door to Tachi's house opens. Surprised, the two is turned around at the sound. The woman comes out, stares at me for a moment, but she quickly focuses on Sachi, narrowing her eyes. Aunt Mayumi, uh, are you going out? Sachi looks like she's about to cry as she lowers her head, trying to avoid looking at the woman. The person Sachi referred to as Aunt Mayumi is a slender woman with perfect posture, two normal eyes instead of one giant one. Yes, so the urgent has to go up for work, Sachi. Who is this boy? She looks me over at the top to the bottom, but her her, grave, her face grave and unsmiling, and her eyes creep onto the bag I gave Sachi. She's beautiful, but the stare is so icy. It sends shivers down my spine. Uh, this, from school, uh, a student, Sachi's voice is tiny, and she bows her head again and flustered. I'm not sure the woman can hear. Should I try to point that out? She turns to Sachi, but before she can speak, I open my own mouth. I am Fukunaga Mamoru. I recently transferred to schools and met Sachi a few days ago. I came with her so I could carry the bag of books and manga I'm letting her borrow. I try to say this as plainly as possible, but I'm probably talking way too quickly. I see. Thank you for doing that for her, Mamoru. -kun. Your speech is polite, but she stays in a very flat tone, and it's hard to tell what she's thinking. Uh, of course. Now I must get going. Sachi, since you're late, you have to eat alone. Uh, okay. With that, the woman rushes out the house. I watched her for a bit until she turned the street corner, but she never looked back this way. Family member, huh? You called her your aunt? Yes, my mother's sister. I'm living here with her right now. I'm living with her right now. Hmm, I see. I want to ask her about her family situation, but swallow the thought and ask what I think is more important. That woman you're at, Mayumi, does she treat you badly? Huh? Oh no, not at all. I can't really seem to get close to her, though. Ah. I don't know if such is bad at telling lies or not, but it doesn't seem like a lie, at least. She might be getting her injuries from being bullied at school, after all, but without knowing her family, how her family treated her, I couldn't be for sure. Okay, I'm going home. You can return to manga whenever. Oh, sure. Really. Thank you very much. See you next week. Yeah, see you. 
Sachi hoists the bag of manga up with a grunt and heads inside. After making sure she made it inside all right, I start walking toward my own house. I'm worried that our relationship isn't coming along as well as I had hoped, but at least it doesn't seem like she's being abused by her family. At any rate, I think we've gotten just a little bit closer than we were before, and I think and I smile as I think about that. Now she's smiling. Act three. Have one's eyes on. Okay. Uh, went a little farther, farther along than I expected. We'll break for there for the time being. Um, so recently we got to meet her aunt Mayumi. Uh, give her the protagonist is Mamaru. He's a little overzealous about you know with all the manga he gave her, obviously. But hey, at least the guy's trying. He's doing this. Trying to get, do his best to become friends with this person, this uh, Masachi. I said that horribly. So, well, I'll do better next time. But thank you for watching. Please like this. Please like this video. Please write down below if you have any visual novels you want me to do, or if you have any comments about this visual novel, please put it down there. Uh, please check out my other videos I have on the, my channel site, and I will see you next time. Ciao.